Hello, I'm Captain Brad Oster, the commanding officer of USS Jack H. Lucas, the Navy's first Flight 3 DDG. The crew is super excited to have everyone come on board and see the latest technology. We'd also like to thank the citizens of Tampa, Florida for hosting the commissioning. We thank you for hosting us and letting us see all that Tampa has to offer. Once again, welcome aboard and enjoy the tour. Hi, welcome on board Jack H. Lucas. My name is Commander Matthew Klein, XO on board. This ship's named after the youngest Marine to ever receive the Medal of Honor, Jack Lucas. Just like our namesake, we have been dominating every step of the way. We are the indestructible. 120 day crew cert done in just over 80 days, moving into engineering evolutions and drills, seamanship, navigation, you name it, we do it. Test set, test complete, regard our further alarms. Hi, I'm DCC Select. Brian Petway, and today we're going to be talking about our water mist system on board USS Jack H. Lucas. It's the first water mist system on board a DDG. Essentially, it is a sprinkler system inside of the main space that allows us to fight those fuel and oil fires inside of the space. Very innovative. One of the greatest systems I've ever seen, and it's something I'm proud to have on board the ship. Hello, my name is Master Chief Brian Jackson, and I'm the Combat Systems Maintenance Manager of Jack H. Lucas. Behind me, the Octagon Radar is Spy-6. It was developed from the ground up to provide integrated air and missile defense capability against larger raids and increased battle space. It's considered the eyes of our ship and one of the major upgrades to the Flight 3 DDG. I'm Gunner's Mate First Class Corey Vark, CG Division LPO. To my right is the Mark 45 Mod 4 5-inch gun. It's capable of firing up to 16 to 20 rounds per minute, up to 20 nautical miles is our deterrent against anti-air, anti-surface, and naval surface firing support. And this gun right here is the reason why we're indestructible. Thank you for visiting Jack H. Lucas, the Navy's first Flight 3 destroyer to hit the fleet.